Hey, welcome to another tutorial. This time I want to go over pick random and uh, show a couple of uses for it. This should also teach you how the node generically works, as pick random can do so many things, it's kind of hard to uh, show it just doing one or two things. Let's get started. Uh, pick random is in the root of the um, logic node menu, so we can do that. I'm a little bit big right now, so I'll reset my sizing. There we go. And so we can spawn in pick random. You'll see pick random starts as pink. Whenever anything starts as pink, I'll say this in every video where a pink node appears, it means dummy, as in it's not really sure what's going on. Uh, you need to specify a data for it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put in some colors. So I'm going to go to input on my node menu, and I'm going to go for, uh, where are we, color, RGBA. And I'm going to put these in once, and now you'll see the entire node has gone into a uh, color-colored uh, version, where there's the yellow color signifying that you can that it's now a pick random color. So here I'm going to just put in some random values. We're going to say uh, 0 0.2, uh, 2.1. We'll always put one into the bottom because that's uh, alpha. So let me copy that through. Here I'm going to put uh, 1, here I'll put 1, and then here I'll put 0.5 on all of them. And then if we pull out the output node of pick random, you'll see it's now flashing between those colors. But that might be not be that actual, the, uh, not actually that useful. What you might want to do is pick a random color every single time uh, a timer goes off. So let's also go over the timer node here. So if we had pump the menu, we go to flow, we go to timer, and then we'll need a variable as well. So we'll go variables, uh, color, and then we'll need a write as well, which is actions, write. And then we'll say every two seconds. So what's happening here is every two seconds, this will fire an impulse. And that will trigger the right, and the right will write the current value of the pick random into this color variable, which we can then pick up. As so here, it's green, gray, green, gray again, red. There we go. I was waiting for something else. It is random, so um, if you're waiting for a certain result, don't. It's completely random. And so then, what we could do here is create a cube. 3D model box. And then we can uh, grab its material here. And we can put this color into the box's albedo color. And now you'll see that the, the box goes between these random colors. And we can also add more random ones. So uh, by hitting plus here, we'll add a couple more random ones. So we can go here and say, one, 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 that's uh, fully white. And then here we could go uh, 10 on the red, which would be a really bright red. There it is. And so that's changing the color every, um, every two seconds. With the timer node, you'll see that there's a second input. Make sure that you put uh, either host user or local user, some sort of user in there, just so that you're clear who's, who's firing that timer. I recommend host user wherever appropriate. That's pick random for you. That's one example of pick random for you. But pick random can also do um, various other things that get kind of cool. Um, as an example here, we could use uh, pick random to play a random sound. So what we would do here is we would grab pick random again, and then we'd go to audio and we'd say audio clip input, and we'd put an audio clip input into each of these, and then we'd get a play one shot and put that into the play one shot. And then we can put a different audio clip into each of those. If you give me just a second as well, once I've put these um, sounds in. So we'll do time up. Waypoint up here. And waypoint use. And if you give me just a second, I can make it so you guys can hear those too. So we'll uh, enable that so I don't have to stop the recording and start it again. Uh, if I do this real quick. 
Now you should be able to hear the sounds as they go in. Uh, sorry about that, I should have set that up ahead of time. Uh, so we're going to put this one into here, this one into here, and then this one into here. And then I'm going to pull this out just in case you'll uh, got your sound down or something so you can see it also coming out here. And what it's going to do here is every time I hit pulse it'll play a different sound because it's got pick random on it. So here we go. So that was time up. That was waypoint use. Time up. Time up again. That's waypoint up here I think. Let me just make sure that you guys are seeing this. Yep, you are. So there you go. That's an example of using pick random for a more complex data type. So here we're using it to pick a sound. Try other data types there. Um, people have figured out that you can even put in the uh, the um, the if we where's a right node when you need one. There it is. They figured out what, that you can put these into. Uh, used to be able to. Maybe they did it a different way. I, I've seen I've seen a pick random with with those into it. Um, I'll stop here as I uh, really don't know what I'm doing. Maybe it's a brand new one because that's a color right node. No, oh, okay. I've seen someone do that where they picked a random spot to write something into based on the pick random result. Not quite sure how they did it. Maybe they did it manually. Um, but just try around. Try some other data types. You've got random sound, random color. You can do random number, random user, random string. That's another easy one to show actually. Let's do that quickly. Then we do pick random and then we do input string. And we can do here A, B, C. Pull this out, and then you'll see A, B, C um, going there. And then again, if I do a, if I do a write to a variable, and pulse this a few times, you'll see that a random string is being written to that variable. There you go. Hope that helps. That's uh, pick random. I'll see you next time.